Hi guys, welcome back to Dolan Rule 16. I am your host Jivon, and today we're about for a brand new benchmark. So Lord of the Rings Golem for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i3-10105 with the Intel UHD 630 integrated graphics. I'm running with 16GB of DDR4 RAM in dual channel memory and yes, only pain is what you're about to see here if you want to play this game at all. This game is terrible, it's trash, poor optimization and it will make you cry. I'm not joking. Everything looks terrible and yet for some reason this is demanding as hell. The RC600 struggled. You need FSR. Or for me, normally I would like to do a video where I show you the game before I have to use the low-end config. No, not this game. I'm using the low-end config and I still don't think it's enough <laughs> to give me 30 FPS. So just keep that in mind for what you're about to see. Yes, it looks terrible. I know. I'll show you the settings in a second. Here we go. So this is the game. So right off the bat, we're using 15 gigs of RAM. Okay, that's not great. I can't see anything because I've, I've disabled everything, basically. So yeah, we're using an extreme low-end config to run this game right now. You can't play any other way. Um, FSR is not enough. FSR will only give you about 10 to 12 FPS. I'm using 960 by 540 for my resolution, and I changed the window screen to windowed full screen, so it's actually running at 960 by 540. Everything is on low, and I'm actually using 20% of the resolution scaling right now. We have FSR off because FSR, like I said, is not enough. Basically, I've turned everything off and to the lowest, as you can tell, because it looks absolutely abysmal now. And well, this is the it is playable in the sense of FPS wise. Gameplay wise, I don't even think this is worth it. You're probably going to say to yourself, but Javon, maybe you could have put it up, put the settings up a little bit. No, because if I put the settings up anymore, it's it look it'll, the FPS will drop way too much, so it's not worth it. It, it just isn't worth it, man. So you just keep that in mind. I can't even tell where the, 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 the drop-off is. I couldn't even tell where the drop-off was. Apparently this is a game where you need is a platformer so like I said this is only for educational purposes. Don't try to play this game basically is what I'm saying. Especially if you have integrated graphics. Don't try this. This is this is worth 50. This isn't worth 50 bucks or 60. This doesn't even worth 20. This is ridiculous. This game is terrible. And I knew it was going to be terrible from the moment I saw the first trailer. I said, yeah, this is going to be bad. I don't even like Lord of the Rings. I never watched Lord of the Rings. I can't even say I don't like it. I just never watched it. And I was there like, why Gollum? That's weird. I know the characters. I'm like, why Gollum? Good to see I was right about that. This sucks. But it, I, I, if you want me to tell you if it's playable or not, with this FPS, I don't see any stutters because the FPS is so low and it's not really pushing the CPU. There are no stutters in the game, so that's a plus. That's the only plus you're going to get, but... Oh my gosh. I didn't see the jump. I didn't see the drop. I, If anything, I would put up the resolution a bit, but there's no point. Like I said, the second you put up the resolution, the game isn't playable anymore. So this is just for educational purposes, because like I, yeah, you can't put this, you can't put up the resolution. You just can't. Who thought this was a good idea? Once again, I feel like I'll say this every video. This is a this looks like a PS3 game with PS2 gameplay for platforming and a bad PS2 platformer but it is stable this actually gives me hope for my R9280 and the R270 actually I may not need this low end config but I will use it for the 620 the SC 620 obviously is worse than this so this is not playable for those of you who would like to know how I got motion blur and the others disabled just check out the how to run Go the Lord of Rings Gollum on low end PC video though That'll come shortly after these videos, so 
Just keep that in mind. But anyway, once again, I hope you enjoyed my suffering. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. If you guys like seeing me test games on low-end hardware and suffer like this, Dang. hit that subscribe button, guys. It helps. Seriously, the fire. I'm just going to mute myself. I'll see you guys next time. Old bird's foot almost sang the sweet one. Just the names of her stupid song. It was ours, oh, precious. My birthday present. It came to me on my birthday. So I've heard. Ox couldn't see us. No one could see us. Not even nasty wizards. How did you find it? Your precious. <laughs> Nasty light. <laughs> Smeagol wants to sleep. He cannot sleep now. But I shall dim the light for him. No nice friend was he precious. <laughs> Not tricksing us now, is he? No, no, not anymore. Perhaps she helps us now, the great spider. They're both are beasts to eat, yes. And she orcs it, but she doesn't like them much. So you never left that cave? Never. And 